Hey everyone! Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. Today I am with Lily and Navi. You can see them in the chat and also probably running around here as well. We're gonna start off the video with Lily touring me on the Metro South Continental Line. So, some of you might have seen this in some of my previous videos. This is not a new line, but Lily has told me that she has extended it a bit more and finished the line, I think. So let's get started and Lily is going to tour us on the Metro South Continental Line. Alright, let's go. So this is one of the underground entrances for Cyan Heights because if you remember... Oh, that was the... That's the APM back to the spawn station. But if you remember, I've showed the platforms on a previous video and the South Continental Line was underground. So where is Lily taking us? We just went through the gates and <laughs> we've got a lily pad rail advertisement. So we have lots of escalators and travelators down here just because the station is so big. And it looks like we just missed the train. So that's unfortunate. But look how long the line is. I think last time when we checked it out, last time we were building platforms at Leiyu Moon for Lily. And then now... I think it was extended to like Arbor before, and now it's all the way to Yankton now. So we still got another minute to wait. Oh, we got several more people joining us, including Kira, Navi, and the visitor. Who's the visitor? Can't find them. Magic. Okay, so Lily is talking about the train stocks running on this line. So S trains, that's unlimited siding. Q trains is also unlimited. And 3M trains. So if we get lucky, we can ride the M trains, which are equipped with a special BVE sound by Navi. So I'll be excited to check that out. Looks like there's a different rail type here too. Is this the... Like in NTE, you can configure the type of rail that's shown. Is this the one with the depot? I don't know. Or the track maintenance kind of design? Oh no, it's the one Kira made. So Kira has actually made a separate 3D model for the tracks that we can also check out a bit later. So this is not an M train. I think this is the SQ Q train maybe? I think yeah, it's a Q train because the S train has like bubbles on the on the lights because it was designed for the South Island Line, which goes through Ocean Park in Hong Kong. So we're on our way. The next station is what Red Leaves, yeah, with the Spawn Grand Circular. Yeah, I remember last time, kind of. Fixing up the connection here and adding these signs. So I'm not unfamiliar with this station. I was renovating the lifts over there a little bit because there is no connection down to the platform here. And I was going to build an escalator, but I got too lazy, I think. So there's no escalator. You only have you can only take the lift from the platform to interchange with the light rail or the grand circular. Alright, approaching Pekalo Snowfall Line Mountain. We're taking a left turn here now. So we're facing east. We were going south earlier. I wonder when we're gonna go above ground. But I think the majority of this section is still underground. Oh, we're using the Disneyland Resort Line platform gates here. What's Navi doing? Was Navi not on the train with us? Okay, looks like this side has three platforms. I wonder what that other platform is for. Oh, that's for that. The Pengalu line. Nice. I was like, why are there single automatic platform gates? But yeah, it's for the London Underground trains. Alright, dry dock MRT north interchange with the ship line, line, some of ship line Isaac stuff. Let's see. Shorts LRT at Hot River and the ship line prison line at the dry dock station. 
Wow, well, we've got a please mind the gap announcement in multiple languages as well. Oh, huh. Sleepy is saying you can cut down to Yankton with a different line from here. This looks very much like an MTR style station. Maybe it's the ceiling and the pillars, I feel like. But this is a nice little underground station. I like how the... Oh, the Navi missed the train. I like how the sandstone marble thing was was used for the ground. Okay, Lei Yu Moon is next. If you remember in the one of the previous episodes, I was working on Lei Yu Moon station. Interchange station for the Chinka train and the platform. All right. Platform. Yeah, this is very familiar because I've been working on this. Looks like not platform. much has changed since I was working on it. Yeah, it still looks like a typical MTR underground station, but it's got more of the themes of the Lei Moon station for the Spawn Grand Circular, with the stone brick pillars with the mixed textures, and the station colored- oh, there's an M train. The station colored wooden planks that I put lining the bottom. Alright, so we're approaching South Memorial now. This design reminds me of Mackey Memorial, which makes sense because it's probably really close by. I don't have the system map open with me right now. Ooh, I really like those windows or the skylights at the top. Let's go over a little bit just to see. Wow, you can see out, so it's like a sunken station. Really cool. So just a reminder to everyone, since I still get these kind of comments from time to time, if you want to join this server, you can feel free to join the Discord. So first, join the Discord server, the link is in the video description. Once you join the Discord, there are instructions on how to install the mods you need and the server IP for this Let's Play server. So. Please don't ask in the comments anymore, just go and join the Discord, and you will be able to access this. If you want to create a server for yourself and you don't know how, check out Shockbyte. It's a very reliable server hosting provider that you can sign up for, pay for what you need only, and use the code MTRMOD to get 25% off your first month. So this is New Red Leaf Station. Let's it reminds me of Taiku because of the color. Oh, it's... Are we supposed to get off? Okay, we're gonna take a look at the renovated new red leaves, Navi says. So I just jumped off the train and... Oh, there's a connection to the light rail as well. Okay, let's go up. Wow. Got a lot of a lot of these MTR station decoration fences on the sides here. But yeah, here directly connects to the 801, to Eden and to LRT Depot, right? Yeah, so this is the Callus LRT connecting to New Red Leaves. I like how the original style of these LRT stops were kept, but the pillars and design of the walls were changed to match the South Continental Line. And I like how these catenary poles were used to, to build the wall. Okay, so these trains are not very frequent, so I don't know if we're gonna catch one right now. But it looks nice. And these are the new passenger information display systems that I've showcased a while ago, made by Epic Puppy, which shows all the stopping stations of the train. Okay, so back here, we'll get back to the South Continental Line. Oh, who's here? Kira is here, joining us as well. Oh wow, there's a train right here. The western exit is actually one block higher than the southern. Oh, I didn't notice that. Maybe it's because of the terrain, I assume. 
Oh, miscalculation. Okay. And we have these scrolly displays on the S trains. Are these retextured S trains? I wish MTR had these. But I guess it's I guess it's too low tech now because the standard now is to have TV screens above the doors, not these LED scrolling signs anymore. Navi made this actually. Oh, we just stopped at Hongshan and I didn't even notice. Too busy looking at the displays and stuff. But this is a more nature style station. Next like, look station, at all the bushes and leaves and stuff here. And I think that we just reversed out of that platform. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so Lily is saying that Hongshan is the remaining piece of Phase 2 of the South Continental Line to be done. It will push the escalators out of the way of the standing room. Phase 2 was the extension from Yigong to Yangtin. Yep, that's the part that I was saying was new. And the renovations of New Red Leaves and Hongshan. All has been completed except Hongshan. So the line is basically done except for Hongshan. And this is Lam Hong Tae. I like this open feel. Okay, let's get off the train. Lily's gonna show us a bit of trivia. So the doors do open on both sides. I wonder why. There's only one track in the middle. Okay, the concourse doesn't look as empty anymore. It's been more decorated. Okay, so the reason why there are only one track when the doors open both sides is because originally there was going to be a second line running through, but that plan was scrapped. So let's see, Lam Hong Tae is located in a nature reserve and thus it employs a low ceiling concourse and a minimal area usage concourse design in order to disturb the nature reserve as little as possible. This is also why the station has only one exit that is lift only. That is interesting trivia. I'm kind of curious to see what's up here. Wow, yeah, okay. Makes sense why this is protected. Alright, let's get back in. Is there... Oh, this goes up. Oh yeah, this is the exit, of course. Nice, this is very secluded. And if you are not... If you're not looking... Very minimal design. If you're not looking for the station, you're very likely to miss it. Like if you don't know where it is. So... If I'm playing Race to Sign Heights, I don't know how I'm going to find this entrance. I'm going to be running around and miss the cliff and not be able to find this entrance. We've got some MTR station decorations, ticket machines. Alright, back to the lift. Kira always almost misses the lift, but we're fine. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine if there's a second line the tracks would be like right here. I don't know. Kind of wish there was a second line. That would look cool. Cuz right now if you don't get if you don't get off on the right side, it doesn't really matter. But if there is a second line, you need to know or you would no longer be able to get off on both sides actually. Oh, who's in there? Visitor. Can't really see the name though. All right, the train is arriving. Oh, there's no automatic platform announcement, so Sleepy had to announce that manually to me. That's funny. Okay, so this is back on a C train or Q train. Q train is right now a retextured C train because I don't think we added Q trains to the mod officially yet. So this is technically a C train. That looks like a Q train. So let's keep going on the line towards Yankton. Arbor is based on a real life MTR station in Hong Kong. So let's see what this station reminds us of. All right. Wow, this is very naturey as well. This is, I think, one of my favorite stations on the line. Oh, this is 
clearly based on Chai Wan, I think. <laughs> it's because of the top of the automatic platform gates. That kind of gives it away. Nice work. I don't know why this is one of my favorites, but I do like a lot of the other stations there too. Maybe it's just the simple design at the bottom, but also the color palette. I just like the look of it. Okay, what is this? Environmentally friendly... Ooh. I don't think I've seen this before. Wow, these are custom modeled ocean cruisers. I think these are the light rail trains in Macau. Wow, okay, so these are actually modeled in an actual 3D software, not Blockbench. So these are imported using Nemo's Transit Expansion, where you can import 3D models actually into the game now, like OBJ files. Wow, this is another level of immersiveness. Imagine if all the existing trains in the mod were converted to use these real 3D models. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, this is the ocean cruiser model from Macau. So the Macau light rail uses these kind of trains. And the windows are tinted too, but you, can, you can't tell from the inside. Wow, I'm really impressed. Like it looks tinted from the outside, but inside you can see out perfectly clearly. Wow. This is Cheng Chao Wa Station. And I guess this line only has two stops, but I have never seen this before. I guess a little bit in screenshots, but I'm really impressed at the train model. I don't know why the ground level doesn't match the platform though. Don't know if that's intended <laughs> or that's just how the train is. There are some built-in models with the Nemo Transit Expansion mod. So you can play with those as well if you don't have a resource pack. You can just download the Nemo Transit Expansion and play with that. So to get across to the other platform, it looks like we have to come outside and take this other lift down. There's no easy way to get across to the opposite side. But I guess you don't really need to because this is a terminus, so you always just exit the station. Assuming that you're not just <laughs> joyriding. Oh, visitor. <laughs> so it looks like these trains are comprised of two car units. You see, this is like a solid wall. And this side has a driver's cab window. I guess technically not a driver's cab because these are automated. But yeah, it looks really good with the window tint. I don't know why I like that so much. And look at the frame rate, 79. This is really incredible. Like if Spawn, all these trains were using these OBJ models, it would be much more, it will be much higher resolution, much higher frame rate, much more realism, Less Minecrafty, I guess. That's the only downside is that it's too realistic. Some people prefer it to be more Minecrafty, but the frame rate, you get a really big boost. I think technically we can export the current trains as OBJ formats using Blockbench. Oh, we just missed the M train. <laughs> we were wanting to experience the sounds of the M train, but it's okay. Off it goes. If you notice my frame rate when we were looking at that M train, it dropped down to like 50 something. So that's why spawn lags so much is because there's so many trains around. But if all those trains barely hit the FPS, that'd be crazy. I know Nemo is working on like fixing bugs with shaders and stuff. So eventually the goal is to merge that into the main mod I don't know how long that would take, but that would be really good if that happens. But I don't know what I'll do with the existing trains. Maybe just export them as OBJs just for, I don't know, just for the mod. We'll see, we'll see.
it's not gonna be in a long time anyway. Or in a yeah. First will come the big back end update, which I'm excited about. And then we can work on client side. The smart is just in continuous development. There's no end. We just keep improving it, keep making it better, keep adding features. There is a bit of calligraphy at the very end of the station. Uh, the, then the platform at Arbor. So that is probably added using the slideshow mod. Generated using an online website. Nice. Alright, Isashima Station and Navi is tracking the trains actually to tell us what train type is coming next. So S train next and then M train. This station invokes the style of the Two Moon Tinshu Yunlong on the West Rail. Yep. Is it the backwards curved roof up here with the white pillars and stuff? Yeah. Looks like Siu Hong Station. I kind of get confused with the West Rail stations because first of all, I don't go there very much. So I don't remember how they look and <laughs> because they all look pretty similar. Isa Shima has a Chimsha Choi East Chimsha Choi style interchange with Ikawa. And since Ikawa is based on MTR style, choose to KCR style here. Oh, yeah, good design choice. So if you don't know, East Chimsha Choi and Chimsha Choi and Chimsha Choi stations in Hong Kong is I think the first out of station interchange on the network. And they were previously owned by different companies before KCR and MTR merged together. So that's why Lily decided to make this side KCR style while Ikawa, which is connected here, is MTR style. Okay, let's go see the LRT platforms. Looks like Lily wants to show us something. Ooh, underground LRT. And they're all connected on the same level. Nice. I think I kind of want to build my own stuff now. Like I haven't been building on the Let's Play videos in a while. I haven't been building in general just because I've been too busy to just play Minecraft for fun now. I mean, recording videos are fun, but I mean like... Oh, are we gonna miss an M train? Yeah, recording videos are fun, but I'm also a little bit inspired to build another line now. But I don't know what I'll do and where to go. So I'll keep that in the back of my mind. If you have ideas on what I should build, leave it down in the comments. Because I do look at the comments and you can inspire me to do something if you have ideas. Okay, so we looked at the LRT platforms. Now I think we're going to... Where are we going to? Lily is going to show us a bit of trivia, I guess. This is a long passageway. Isashima Station is not even under the actual island. So I guess you have to get through this passage to get to the island. Oh, uh, this is under the mainland. Right. So in the Chinese, Dailok means mainland and Do is island. So Yi Do and Yi Dailok. That's the names of the exits. So let's go this way. Sleepy, I think, is wanting to show us the connection to the other station, which has nice travelators so that we don't have to just walk. If you're in survival or adventure, that really helps out. You <laughs> get a little bit of a speed boost. I think people were suggesting like curved escalators in the past, but oh, is there a button to close the gate? Wow, <laughs> that's cool. And then open is the other side. Nice. <laughs> it's probably just simple command blocks with repeaters to fill in these blocks, but it looks pretty cool. Ah, wanted to run through. Okay, so this side is apparently MTR styled with connections to the Yunlong line and the Snowy line. Ah, this is the 
Sham Shui Po inspired station. I remember now. Yeah, I've definitely visited this before. This is very MTR style, and Lily's part is KCR style. I do like the difference. It's very unique. Yeah, I've seen Ikawa Station before. Alright, so this is the exterior of Isashima Station. I don't know why we <laughs> came in through. Okay, that is that the island part of it? Yeah, that's probably the island part. And then Ikawa and Isashima is here. Oh, you can do both. <laughs> I forgot that I coded that in. Okay, back to the trains. I wonder if we'll catch the M train or are we just gonna miss it? Oh, that's going to Sign Heights though. Hmm. Okay, we can at least stand next to it and listen to the sounds. Enjoy the sounds. All right, this is a Q train. <laughs> Lily is disappointed that it's a newer train. How ironic. I remember when K trains were first introduced on the Kuntong line. I was in kindergarten at that time, I think. And I would go home because my kindergarten was in Kowloon Tong. I would be waiting for the Kuntong line and I would be hoping really hard for a K train and then I remember one time I was crying really hard because an M train came but then <laughs> my, my mom took me on the train anyway because it would be unrealistic to just keep waiting because you don't know how long you're gonna wait although there were quite a number of K trains on the line and I really wanted to ride it because it was new at that time and I was intrigued by the plug doors but Anyway, that was a sad day. <laughs> I also remembered when they switched from the unrefurbished M trains to the new M trains. This is Egong Station. I remember the, the benches on the unrefurbished trains. They did not have the ridges, so when the train slows down, everyone slides to one side. It's kind of funny. Actually, SP1900s are like that right now, but they're, they feel smoother. So you don't slide next to somebody that often. Okay. Ah, this is a, an interchange with what's this line? The snowy line. What are we doing? Are we getting on the train or are we going back? I guess we're just looking at the interchange. But it's okay. Oh! This is an S train, I think. Yeah, S train with the scrolly displays. So apparently there's a long gap between this station and Yangtin, and it's because Lily has to go through a bunch of tunnels to get there. Okay, that's fine. Oh, actually with these trains, you can see out the front because these are driverless in real life. So Yangtun now, interchange for the snowy, Lakeside Mystic, Yangtun HSR APM, Wanton Line Snow Troll Line, and you can also go on the high speed rails. Yeah, I knew that. And you can take the high speed all the way back to spawn. So if you want to go to Yangtun quickly, take the high speed rail and don't take the South Continental Line. But if you want to stop anywhere in between, I guess you have to take the South Continental Line. And the last M train is going back to Yigong now, so we missed it. Unfortunately. Maybe we can just teleport somewhere and catch it though. That's also an option. It's kind of fun riding in the driver's seat. Just how smooth everything is. These OBJ models is really the future of Minecraft rendering. Even though it uses some hacks, quote unquote hacks, to get the rendering to be cached and like to hack it to the rendering pipeline to render it so well. All right. I think the end result is worth it. It's just that there might be bugs with shaders and stuff. Okay, so what are we doing? We end up south of the Lakeside Mystic, taking up the last of the available Yangtun platforms, and then 
Wow, Lily is going to edit the depot and only pull out M trains. So <laughs> okay, cool. Oh look, that's a. I don't know the exact model, but that's a Taiwanese train right there. M train retextured into a Taiwanese train. Okay, so we've passed all these stations. It didn't feel that long, even though we were touring each station. It didn't feel that long to go through the whole line. My favorite is still Arbor with the environmentally friendly linkage system. Okay, Navi is saying that's a C301 with MLR sound, if you can hear it on the video. Oh, that's the train to Yunlong. Okay. So I wonder why this design doesn't use cross-platform interchanges. At least just flip over the middle two rails would be easy to do. <laughs> the sounds of the M train is funny. It's not what it's supposed to be. Alright. Let's jump on. Has no one made an M train with scrolling displays yet? That's not realistic, but... I wonder if anyone has done that yet. Oh, there's an M train on that side too. Hey Eric. Alright, let's just enjoy the ride with the new sounds. Oh, what's that train? That was a cool train. I didn't get to see it. Next station, Igong. Interchange station for the snowy line. Just enjoying the sounds of the train right now. That's why I'm not talking very much. Where will I go after SCL? That's a great question. Hmm. I actually don't know yet. I really enjoyed the Macau LRT, but we don't have to go that again. Thank you, Sleepy, for touring me on the South Continental Line. That was really fun. All right, so after touring the South Continental Line, we got teleported here to Lake City, where Navi will show us a different train type on his line. So Lake City, this goes to the... Oh, I forgot what this line name is called. I even made a secrets video on this. Mysteries of the Let's Play. Oh, just missed the train, looks like. Okay. Oh, I just noticed there's a second line here now. This goes to Ichthys. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh wow, look at this. This is an overground MLR first class train. Yeah. <laughs> It's really creative how you mashed all the different elements of different trains together. These arrows on the ground are from the R211s, I think. And then the walls here are from the yellow heads. The door spacing is just, I don't know where it's from. And then the walls are from MLR. And the seats, I don't know. <laughs> so it's a mishmash of all the different types of trains. Really creative. Oh, and the head of the train is from class 508s or something? I don't know. The overground trains are to be used for the Yan Yu line. Alright. Just waiting for this train. So apparently not all of these trains on the line are using the HD SP1900 models. So over 15 per 50% of them are, 
So we got lucky this time, getting another HD train here. I guess it looks like we're still using the constant door animation, so the doors kind of go over the edge here. <laughs> I think that's waiting for a fix on my end, actually. But if you can see, this is a custom map for the train. So unfortunately, this bar keeps covering the map. But you can see the different station. We're at Lake City with this connection, which is that other one right there. Shektan Island Southwest Plains. Oh, this is the Southwest Plains line. I remember the name now. I even made a whole video of it. Birch Hill, Huruka Island, and Chongshu Chow. Nice. So this HD SP1900 train is made by Unknown. That's a that's actually the name, their name on Discord. So they did send me the files for the train to eventually add to the main mod as well. So I just have to find the time to do that. I'm very excited to do that because this really enhances the experience a lot. Wow, we even got a the multi-purpose section as well. But I guess they're on all, all of them. Which is not in the real train though. And we have a HD driving cab, which is really impressive. On most of the trains I've, on all of the trains I've created, there's no cab because I've just been lazy. And the destination is actually vertical, the destination display, not just slanted and slapped on the front of the train. Wow. I don't know how laggy this would be if I added it to the main mod, but I think it should be okay. I don't know. This part though, I think it's custom made by Navi. Oh, and we have no seats here. I don't know if that's intended, but on the real train there are seats here. But maybe it's just to not block this door right here. Which makes sense too. Wow, doesn't this feel like I'm driving an actual train? Look at this. If only all the trains had driver's cab like this. But I also don't know what they look like in each train. So I'm gonna need help from the community. But anyway, <laughs> I'm really impressed by this. I can't wait to add this to the main mod, but I'm still working on the back end. Looks like there might be a few more weeks left on that, but I don't like giving a hard deadline because I am not doing this as a main job. So it's hard to give a deadline for that if I have a full-time job on top of it as well. So it looks like these passenger information displays were also updated to a custom theme. So with the blue line at the top and then a black background. In the Jobin Klein mod, which gives us these displays, you can use a brush to right click on it and to edit the, edit the template of it. See? PIDS preset, WRSPL, that's the name of the template, I guess, that Navi is using. All right. Wow, this big cave here. Let's go back to the front. I like riding in the front. Oh, there's a lag spike there. I've ridden this line many times before when filming this. But it's always nice to sit in the front and look out. I like doing that in real life too. I've talked about my trip to Vancouver a little bit, and the Skytrains there are fully automated. So you can sit in the front and look out the front. It's really fun. Alright, what? where are we at? Birch Hill. Interchange for the WLT Line 1, I think. WLT service, that's just what it's called now. Alright. There's another train. Is that an HD version? Yes it is, I think. The thing with HD is that you can see all the labels pretty clearly now. 
like the no spitting, no eating and drinking, mind the gap. All these are KCR styled signs, so they're kind of a throwback. Because KCR has been merged with the MTR now, so you don't get these kind of labels on the trains anymore. The next station is Haruka Island. And that train is not the HD one, right? Yeah, they're being replaced in phases, so this one hasn't been replaced yet. Yep. Why are they getting off the train? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Okay, and the, the next station, station is, is Chongxu Chow, Chow Terminus. Terminus. That's the end of the line. Alright, I think that's the train we missed probably. Navi is here watching us pull Please into the station. And we'll get off here. That was a really f enjoyable ride. Thanks for that. And thank you, Unknown, for supplying the HDSP 1900 train for the community. I will look into importing it into the mod, but I don't know how long that's going to take. Oh, yeah, another feature with the Nemo Transit expansion is. Oh, I guess I talked about it last time, but you can hide the rails. So if I'm not holding a rail related item, the tracks just disappear. So it looks more realistic as for buses. Okay, so now we're gonna check out the other part of the Clamor Express. I don't know why this train is here, floating here. Okay, so Navi is gonna take us on a tour. Is this a parkour map? Oh, it's a, the MTR quest. I said I was going to make a series of it, but I haven't yet. So maybe soon. Which I go through and play, th play through the MTR quest. That would be really fun. Alright, so now we're going on the Clamor Express. Just a new section though, because I don't want to ride all the way from Sunrise. But this section to Tufert is new, and there's a train. And we're gonna catch it. Nice. I always like it when there's just a train on the platform and we don't have to wait for another one. That's always a good thing. Alright. So this is the new section to Tufert. And... Interchange for the future Metro Northern Line. So I'm also looking forward to that as well. Passengers may change in two per at two central. Okay, cool. Let me take a look at the system map actually, see where we are and what that would connect to. So as you can see, this line starts at sunrise and goes all the way through. We started at Fairview Docks and we're going to Twofert Central. So if we just took the whole line all the way, that would have added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, probably 10 minutes extra to our travel time. That's why we started at Fairview Docks. I didn't want to start all the way at sunrise. So we're just here to check out the new section to Twofert Central. And I think there's a light rail system here as well. Yeah. So this is the U7. Oh, is this part of S43's network? I forgot. Sentown Square. <laughs> okay. Okay, so when we get there, let's see what's there. All right, finally we're here. That train ride wasn't short. It was like three minutes at least, according to the system map. So open, open. There might be a little bit of server lag since we traveled such a long distance. Where's Navi? Are you off the train? Oh, and I just noticed that this platform for the Clamor Express is longer than the future Northern Line platform. So then that part is like closed off. There's a wall there. 
And I noticed that Lily likes to use these signs for terminating trains only. That's pretty cool. Alright, where did Navi go? Probably up. Alright, the concourse is still a little bit empty, but I like the design here. It's like the London Underground or the tube map style where you've got the ticks for the stations. I don't know if that's what this is meant to be, but this is the Clamor Express color and the Northern Line color. And we've got a lot of signs here. I don't know what platforms these are looking at. We've got the Twoford Central main concourse. <laughs> we've got the close gate open gate thing again. All right, so let's just go up the escalators and see what's here. We're pretty deep underground, yeah? We're at like Y0. We're only at Y30, 40 something now. So, wow, this is a big spiral escalator. Okay, this is the ground level. Lily pad rail advertising again. I only paid $1, wow. Even with that long distance. What's down here? Some extra tracks. I guess this is work in progress. And up here is also work in progress. Alright, nice. Looking forward to see what's next. Yeah, S43 has a light rail here somewhere. But I guess it's still under construction, which is okay. Although, according to the system map, the trains are running. But they're like 5 minutes each. So we probably won't catch one. Ah, yeah, the platform's right here. The next one is in one minute. Oh! Just as I say that, we get a train. And this is outbound too. Wow, we're so lucky. So this is the U7 to Manworks. Alright. So this is the light rail by S43 from Twoford Central. I want to go Next check out what is Sandtown Square. Oh, there's the new light rail. Remember we look through the different types of light rail trains on this network. So if you missed that video, go check it out. It's just the previous video on the Let's Play series. So a lot of these are still work in progress, which makes sense. So before we end the video, I would also like to remind everyone that you can check out this server for yourself by joining the Discord. The link is in the description. Once you join the Discord, there will be instructions on there on what mods to install and what the server IP is. Basically everything you need to know about joining. So this is a good time to talk about Shockbyte as well. I know I've talked about them this at the beginning of the video. If you want your own terminal. server to play with your friends, Shockbyte is a very easy way to set that up. It has even integrations with the mod's online system map as well. So if you have trouble setting that up, Shockbyte provides an easy way to do that. This is Sandtown Square. I think we just, this is like Sandtown Square Station. So, thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video. Next stop, oh, did we just Avenue. switch? No, I don't know. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, so that I can continue to provide great content for you all. And please don't forget to subscribe as well, because it helps me out with the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!